friends welcome to my youtube channel learning with bhavna shankari in the last video we have seen how to demonstrate archimedes principle i hope you like the video if you are new comer to my channel please subscribe to my channel please hit on the black bell icon so that you will get notifications for new videos please like and share the videos and you can ask the activity that you need in the comment box come uh, let us uh, study uh, today about a uh, friction how to uh, define uh, friction or how to understand a friction how we can demonstrate a uh, friction to our students to our friends and how to make a clear about friction physically how to make it a very simple come uh, let us uh, discuss an activity about the friction see first example that i can give for friction is rubbing our hands so if you rub your hands like this you can see a sound a very little a small a sound while rubbing my hands see that is generated when the two surfaces that is my palms when rub over the other that is due to the friction between these two surfaces okay now i can give one more example of mat box and mat stick see here i am making fire with a mat stick see when i rub this mat stick over this a uh, surface we get burning match stick so that is big cause of a friction let us make it clear see if you have not observed observe it the surface is a rough surface you can feel you can hear the sound because the surface is rough surface and when a match a stick this portion this portion when rubbed over this surface you can hear the same sound see you can listen to the same sound and at a particular time that bones that is because of the friction see when it a uh, rub over the uh, rough surface that heats up because of the rubbing heat is generated and then because of the chemical that get light so that is burnt this match stick is based on the principle of friction and one more example i can give see i have a cloth here okay a very neat cloth and this is a little rough compared to this marble this is a marble and i have a ball okay a ball i'm just making the ball move on the floor this marble see i'm applying a small force on the ball initially it was steady okay just i'm applying a small force and it is moving like this if i apply the same force to the ball when it is kept all the cloth it will stop after a few length of traveling see again i'm repeating that stops here what is the reason for that that is because of friction here the friction acts between the surface of the ball where it touches the floor here okay and since this uh, surface is very smooth it is very smooth the friction offered by this surface on the ball is less okay so when 
I am rolling it on the cloth. See, since this cloth is rough compared to this marble, it offers this cloth offers more force on this ball. So it stops at a particular a time. So then, what is friction? Friction is the opposition that is offered by a surface over the other surface. So I can take example of the cloth again. See, this is a surface, and this ball is made to roll on the cloth. So then, this cloth opposes the ball to continue its motion. That means when I applied a force on the ball, that is the applied force, and that is opposite force on the ball is given by this cloth. That is why it stops. See, all the objects offers a force, a frictional force. The same, uh, the marble floor also offers the frictional force but it is it offers less compared to the cloth because its surface is a smooth its surface is a very smooth so in the case of the matchstick and the matchbox here that surface was very rough so that is why we get a fire because of the production of heat and while rubbing hand see a uh, ha uh, whose hand is very smooth will get less heat generated and less sound see my hand uh, my palm is especially it is a uh, rough okay so i get a sound easily and get heated up easily while rubbing my hands so this is a simple way to demonstrate uh, the uh, friction or frictional uh, force See, uh, one more example I have to differentiate the two surfaces. See, uh, this is a, a small wheel. Okay. So, very a nice a surface. And uh, this is a, a scooter. Okay. Of my son. See, it has tires uh, which have a rough surface. You can see the they are not nice they are not smooth the little markings you can see that is to give the friction see i am making this uh, two instruments to go on this floor this marble now uh, this marble is same for common for this tire and this tire see when i roll uh, this particular blue color wheel that rolls easily okay that rolls easily roll. but uh, same force i'm applying on the scooter and it will not go easily it will stops and i have to apply more force what is the reason for that see here the friction is give, uh, given by this structure okay so he uh, but this tire is very smooth so the friction is based on the roughness of the surfaces here we have common uh, floor then uh, which is different the surface of the two tires are different which has more a uh, rough structure that is given that is giving more friction and one more example i can give since this floor is smooth compared to this cloth the ball rolls easily but here the surface is rough so it offers more frictional force to the ball and that opposes the motion of the balls that's why it stops and you can uh, conclude that a roughness increases the frictional force and uh, one uh, more thing that is the direction of the force direction of uh, the uh, frictional force see this is the direction of applied force that is this in this direction we are applying the force and frictional force will be opposite to that uh, applied force so if i use my hands so this is the direction of applied force okay this to the left side and this is the direction to the right side that is the direction of the 
frictional force see this is the ball okay and this is the flow i'm applying the force on the ball in this direction that is applied force or force applied and ball moves in this direction that rolls down on the floor in this direction this floor applies the frictional force in the opposite direction so this is the direction of, of the uh, friction this is the force of friction or frictional force see so what we can conclude the applied force is in the opposite direction of frictional force or always the frictional force is opposite to the motion of the object the frictional force is offered by this flow on the ball and that is in the opposite direction of the applied force and that is why it opposes the motion so it opposes the motion i hope you like it uh, today's topic and hope you got uh, about the topic of friction thank you so much for watching uh, this video please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, like and share the videos please inbox me in the comment box that activity needed for you thank you so much